Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Many new Excel users make the mistake of thinking that because they have selected all of the cells that they can see within a column or across a row, that they have selected the entire column or the entire row. Selecting a few visible cells on screen is not the same thing as selecting entire columns or rows. To properly select a column or row, you must click the headings of the columns or rows where the actual A, B, C is located for columns or the 1, 2, 3 is located for rows. You will see the entire column or row become selected, including the column or row heading which will become darkened. To select a range of adjacent columns or rows, simply click and drag across the column or row headings in order to select them. To select non-adjacent columns or rows, just click the first column or row heading that you'd like to select, hold down the control key on your keyboard, and then click the other column or row headings that you'd like to include in order to select them as well. You can also select every single column and row in the entire worksheet by clicking the small box that is located at the intersection of the column and row headings. When you click it, all columns and rows will become selected. Be careful when you do this, as if you try to perform a calculation on that much data, it will probably crash your computer. However, it can be effectively used to perform small formatting tasks, like changing the font or font size throughout the entire worksheet. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.